Welcome back to session two with sessions from the shore and we're going to be doing some more tap dancing today. So we're going to use some of the steps used in session one and work on musicality with them and put them both together. Uh, so hopefully we'll have fun with that but first we're going to do the warm up. So time for the warm up, follow along just like before. Here we go. We're going to work on the musicality with the steps. We're going to look at the steps we learnt in session one and put them with music and timings and rhythm. So on the screen next to me you'll see the sheet with the rhythmic progressions on. Some of you may be familiar with this, some of you may have never seen it before. Either is absolutely fine. So we're going to work through them one at a time first and then add them to music afterwards. First, we've got the whole note. So we don't use this in tap very often, but it's good to know it's there, and we can use it if we want to. So if we are in a 4-4 four, four timing, the whole note lasts for four counts. So we can either do one beat and hold it like this, one, two, three, four, or we can drag it out by doing something like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's try both. We'll do four each, just the sound, and then four with the drag. We'll use a circle for now. Okay, here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As well as the movement with the feet, you can also hold out the note by using the movement with your body. So for example, like I did there, you can swoosh round, you could add a lean to the side. It's up to you, whatever you want to do with it. So now we have the half notes. Now these are the same concept as the whole note, just half. So they only last two counts, so you would get two in one bar. So you would get one, two, three, four. Okay, so we can do the same as with the whole notes. We can just hit the sound and hold it, and we can also drag, but it would be quicker. It would be one, two, three, four. So let's try both again. Ready, and one, two, three, four. 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 There we go. So now we're on to the quarter notes. These are the most important ones that we need to know and that we use very often. So these are on every beat in the bar. So we'll have four sounds. So every down beat. So we would have one, two, three, four. Like that. Okay, let's try it just with the toes. Ready, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So now we're going to look at eighth notes. So these are doubling up the quarter notes. So we have eight sounds in each bar. So we use the and in between the counts. So we would have one and two and three and four and in one bar. So let's try that a few times and let's do the toe heels to work through that. Ready? And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and good now we're looking at the eighth note triplets okay so these come in groups of three so we have one and a two and a three and a four and a in one bar often triplets can be a little bit more difficult so it's good to put a word to them merrily is a good word so you could say merrily 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 so we're going to have a practice and we're going to use step shuffle so we're going to go one and uh, and switch feet to practice ready and one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, and a four and a good so now we're going to look at the 16th notes so we have 16 notes in each bar so we have four sounds to every down beat one e and a so we can go one e and a okay so let's stick to the toe heels to keep it nice and easy. Let's practice. Ready? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Good. So next you can see we've got the 16th note triplet and also the 32nd note. Now they are both a little bit quicker, so we're not going to look at those ones today, but they're there for you 
to work out and I'm going to give you a little example of what they would be so you can hear it. So at first the 16th note triplet would be and then the 32nd note would be like that. So what we're going to do now is look at some of the steps we learnt in session one and put them to those rhythmic progressions with some music. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. So we're going to start with the whole notes. We're going to do them like we did when we practiced and do them in a circle. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we will do four of those so it will last for four bars. Then we will do the same with the half notes. But instead of keep changing legs because it's a bit quicker, we will do four on one leg and four on the other and then switch again so that we again do four more bars. So we'll go one, two, one, two, like this. Okay. Then next we will move on to the quarter notes and we'll start with toe beats. One, two, and we will do eight all together. Then we will move on to the heel beats and do the same thing. And we'll do eight of those as well. Then moving on to the eighth notes, we will do a crawl this time. So we will go one and two and three and four and, and back and forth. And we will do those eight times. Then on to the triplets, the eighth note triplets, and we will do step shuffle. So we will go one and two and three and four and like that. And we will do eight notes, uh, eight times of those as well. And then to finish off with the 16th notes, we will do cramp roll. So this may be a little bit quick. So feel t um, if you need to practice them first, that's absolutely fine. So we will go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And we will keep them on one leg to keep it nice and simple. Then we will repeat the pattern, but just starting with the quarter notes, but with different steps this time, just to practice something a little different. So we'll start with brush steps. So we'll go one, two, three, four, like that, eight times and then swap to scuff, one, two, three, four, eight times. And then for the eighth notes, we will do trudges. Now it's up to you if you've got the room just to travel forwards, feel free, but I'm going to do it in just a little circle, so feel free to do that as well. So they will go like this, one and two and three and four and, and keep going with those. Then this time for the eighth note triplets, instead of step shuffle, we're going to do shuffle step. So the same timing, just slightly different steps. We will go one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, just to mix it up a little bit. And then we'll once again finish with the cramp rolls going one e and a, two e and a. But this time, let's do it on the left. And then just to finish, to do something a little bit different, what we're going to do is do the toe beats, but we're going to ignore the down beats, and we're just going to hit the off beats, the ands, just with the eighth notes. So we'll do one and two and three and four and, just so we can hear what that syncopated off beat sounds like. Now let's try it with some music. Okay, so now we're going to put that exercise to music. So just follow along, but also the steps and notation will appear above, so you can follow that too. Here we go. Thank you. 
here we go. So thank you for joining me for session two. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's really helped putting the steps and the musicality together. So they're just the basics and hopefully we can keep moving forward with working on those in the future. Also, if you need to go back and look at the close-ups or any other parts of the videos you need to go over, feel free to do that all in your own time. Look forward to seeing you in session three well, we, we will be working a little bit more on style. Thank you.